In 1989, platformers looked like this. Wait, hold, what, what's that? Bonk's Adventure, coming out at the tail end of 1989, looked like no other platformer before it. Huge sprites, high fidelity music, and no flicker. It was the next step in the evolution of the genre. Bonk was one of the first games in the dawning era of 16-bit titles, games that ran on the newest generation of systems that were just coming out at the time. It debuted on the TurboGrafx-16 and was the system mascot. It's kind of funny to think that the mascot for Sega's console is an edgy teenager, while the TurboGrafx-16 has a literal baby. The most unique thing about Bonk has to be the movement. Your head is key here. You can climb, headbutt, dive bomb, or even slow down your falls by spamming the attack button. You might think this is an exploit, but it was probably put in to make use of the snazzy turbo buttons at the top of the controller. And yes, breaking every single platforming rule, you can jump into enemies above you. Ugh, it doesn't feel right. The game might feel almost sluggish at first, but once you master the movement, it plays like no other game out there. Bonk is actually pretty forgiving with each of the six levels ratcheting up the difficulty more and more. Dying doesn't even kick you back to the beginning of the level. Instead, after enough enemies touch the soft spot on Bonk's head, he peacefully <coughs> slips into a coma until you press start and wake him up again. You don't actually have to do this. You can just uh, let him sit there. Yeah. He's not getting up. And if you run out of lives, you only get kicked back a section or two. No full restarts here. I would say it's kind of like Kirby that way, but it turns out Kirby is kind of like Bonk. The levels here have a nice variety to them, from icy tundras, brick castles, to the inside of a stegosaurus. There's even branching paths in some sections. The graphics are simple, but the cartoony art style really gives the game a timeless quality. A fun quirk of the TurboGrafx-16 is it only could have one background layer, so the moon here appears to follow you. Yeah, don't play this game if you're schizophrenic. Before there was a Sonic or Super Mario World, there was Bonk. It may be a little offbeat platformer on a system that never took off, but it was an early look at what was to come.